And we went and saw a movie called Armageddon. No, Armageddon. You were there? I was there! Uh, what did you think of that dog of a movie? I felt the production value wasn't very high. I know. He and I were in acting class together, so it was like... <laughs> We've seen better crap in our acting class than they put up. It was directed by, uh, what's his name, son? Uh, Chuck Norris's son. Chuck Norris's son, you know. <sighs> this was a, it was an important film. I gave it a thumbs up and a thumbs down. It was an important film, and it needed to be made by somebody else, is the point I'm making. <laughs> you know, it even had Alex Jones in it, playing against type. Like, uh, like, like what was that movie about uh, the guy who... Hustler Magazine, Larry Flint. Larry Flint, in that movie, he played him. He played the judge, so he's playing a bad guy. The same thing with Alex Stone, playing a bad guy. You know, it's like, you know, he's okay on the radio, but I don't know, some things, he's just out of, out of his water. It's kind, of, it's kind of like, it reminds me of that time I saw him, and he was drunk in front of the H-E-B, and he was out there with a bullhorn. We're not just saying the H-E-B! I'm here to tell you! Yes! This is, our founding fathers went to war for less than this, I see me. I, I, I'm telling you, 1776 will commence again when you take away our shopping bags. <laughs> Mao took the bags, Stalin took the bags, Hitler took the bags. <laughs> Don't take away, wait, tell me, ah, I got it. Ah. Penny Dangerine! Infowars.com! Where the hell am I? This is life for death and then I'll go to your calls! <laughs> <laughs> I love me some Alex, he's good. He's like a, he's like a drill sergeant, you know, it's like at, at a boot camp. It's like he gets, he rouses up the troops and then he's ready to just go to battle and forget about him because he's crazy in some ways, I think. No, he's, he's okay. He's, he means, he means harm. <laughs> but you, you get news here as well as information. You get it for, you get it, an occasional dick joke will be thrown in. Oh, another fucking child was, was busted in, the, in, the, in their school for a gun. But it wasn't a gun. It was a, it was a, it was like a Frozen, a movie Frozen. It was a swag. A bubble gun, gun. It's like you, you put the thing in the square and it blows bubbles. Oh my God! There's been so many of them over the years. There was a hello, hello. They take these kids, they terrorize and torture them because they one came into school with a hello kitty bubble gun, but mm -hmm. bubble gun that shoot. It's got like a little fan on it. It blows bubbles. Oh no, they did. They did do. I don't remember. These fucking fascist scumbags, people in the school as well as police, will fucking arrest them. Uh, interrogate them for two fucking hours to pee their pants. Little kids. Little kids. There was a there was a there was a, a one had a red cap gun. One just was pointing his finger and went pow pow. And then fucking yeah. One bit his pop tart to look like a yeah. Gun. It was a yeah. It was a, a pop tart. Yeah. Nibbled it into a pistol pistol shape. <laughs> I mean, it's like well, this was from Frozen. A swag from Frozen. It's like let her go. Let her go. It's not a real fucking gun. You fucks. I mean, what the hell is it? It's like, Jamie got a gun. It's not real, you assholes! <laughs> <laughs> this, any, any setup I can come up with to, to be able to sing a song. They never let me sing up here. I'm going to have to sneak it in as long as it's on topic. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. That's the rules. Are they bursting your bubble? They're bursting my bubble. The bubble gun! <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> Did you mention the Muslims and the clits? No. No! Oh, she won't want to talk about it. They will cut off your clip. They'll cut off your fucking clip. The Muslims, <laughs> fuckers, and the, the Jews. I don't know if you know it or not. They'll cut the fucking your. <laughs> they cut the. They cut. Oh no, but they said they did Okay, no, no. It's a. I'm a loyal. It's what I do. It's a. It's a respectable thing. Come on, we just take a little off the top, a little off the tip because it's gonna be. It'll make it look neat and tidy because otherwise nobody wants a sloppy penis. If you're going to go to the to the synagogue, you gotta make sure that your your everything is perfect and in trim and all this sort of thing. So it's like, yeah, so yeah, it's like no, fuck no, no, they can't. I I have I still get it's, it's, it's a sexual thing. They're gonna really cut down the sensitivity. They're trying to always admit, no fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. 
I got one. I don't. You know. I don't. That, it's like it's a sensitivity thing. It's like I have my foreskin. My fucking penis is so sensitive. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can pick up Wi-Fi from Pluto on this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My, my fucking my dick can predict the weather. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My my fucking dick sees the future. My fucking penis talks to other penises in other dimensions. He's over down there right now, boy. I see dead penises. I'm telling you. This have I gone too far? It cries in his What's what's sad is I actually wrote that crap down. I was trying to think today. How do you write the world's best dick joke? Well, you have to start off by insulting the Jews. <laughs> it's how you do that. You start with that. Then you start off with apartheid because you know. Because that's what it's all. It's like they built these fucking walls around the Vatican. There's a 40 foot fucking tall wall around the Vatican. And then it's like there's over 200 miles of fucking walls in Palestine where they're blocking. You know what I'm saying? It's like they say, oh, we have to keep on the Muslims. The Muslims are bad people. They'll cut your clit off. And then, you know, it's like, it's okay, but we. But the thing, the point I'm trying to make is like, that's what they say. That's what they say. The Zionists, you know, it's like, and the Christian Zionists, they say, oh, yes, you need to have the Jews there. We need to because then Jesus will come back. Right? Jesus is going to go back. And that's why they put up the fucking walls. Because they know that when Jesus comes back, he's going to be fucking pissed. He's going to be like, Judge Jesus Christ Superstar up in this motherfucker. My house is to be a house of prayer. And you made it. And of these. And I'm like fucking Robo Christ. <laughs> Kicking over fucking gambling tables and stuff. Is my theory. <laughs> <laughs> is what I'm thinking might happen. But this is what they worry about. Is what is, is that maybe could happen. Okay, hear me out. Hey, I don't, I don't know. Those motherfuckers are like lizards, like the Rothschilds. When they go to bed at night, they like <laughs> they peel their skin because underneath it's like there's a sweaty lizard. Do they just sweat? I don't think. I don't, I don't think, think they sweat. So that's that's the whole thing. That's why. Is that and they're impervious to the radiation that's coming from Fukushima and over from. From a <clears throat> depleted uranium, they're spraying over there in the Middle East and all that. They don't care. They don't care about the correction. <laughs> you know, they, the fish tastes fine to them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they can eat that fish. Oh yes, little radiation. Mwah. It's better than salsa. <laughs> but the, here's the evidence. Did you ever notice that you don't see crop circles? In third world countries, huh, 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 huh? Oh no, 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 no! You see them in like England over there by the city of London, where it's like a, a mile. They call it the, the square mile, which is where the banking capital of the world is, where the Rothschilds have a, you know, a, a penthouse suite. You know, it's like that's, a, that's there, and it's so, so right outside of town over there is where the crop circles are, because somehow I don't know the aliens are keeping an eye on their gold. Or but the, the point I'm making is. That's the proof. It's like their their headquarters are right there, right? And maybe in, underneath the the ice and ice cap in Antarctica. But I digress. You don't see crop circles in our Antarctica. No. You don't see them in the Middle East because it'd be ice cir and uh, sand circles. No. Uh, but you don't see them in Colombia, right? Like in the third world country. You know, in Colombia down there, it's like a like in a marijuana field. You don't see that. You know, like a, a bunch of Twinkie wrappers and Corona bottles all strewn in the motherfucker there. You don't see that. You know, a bunch of stone aliens running around chasing each other. <laughs> With animal probes. <laughs> you don't see that. You know, mariachi band out there in the middle of it. Cuando canto son, me quiero the crop circle. <laughs> <laughs> Little kids running around selling gum. Chicles, chicles, chicles. You don't see that. As often as you used to. <laughs> what? Oh, the Middle East, the boy. The Middle East. I'm, I'm a, the Middle East scares me, you know, like they're trying to make us terrorist. That's why they talk about terrorism, but that fucking fault they invaded the goddamn thing was it. So that now I'm scared about the I'm, it makes me afraid of my cats. My cats scare the shit out of me. The Persians is the point. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Names are Yasser Air Cat. Now <laughs> <laughs> our cat Daffy and Fufi bin Laden. <laughs> 